For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show another way to time things that's even more precise than the last one I showed. And this is with using the ticks inside of the supervisor library. So uh, these are similar to the way that we use time monotonic, but even more accurate. So uh, what you can see here, if you look at my console, right now when I run this code, it tells me that basically zero time has elapsed because all I'm doing is checking the time and then printing out the time. So what I'm gonna do now instead is I'm going to make one print statement. So you can see my program imports the supervisor library. It checks what's the current supervisor ticks milliseconds. It then is gonna do something, gonna have it print a line, uh, and then it's going to stop, create a, create a variable that's the, um, the end time. And then I'm gonna print out the one subtracted from the other and turn it into uh, a decimal, which is a little easier to see. So if I save this, you can see it now takes 0 .001, uh, I believe, milliseconds to do this. Now, by contrast, I'm gonna import a fairly robust library. I'm gonna import NeoPixel. Watch when I hit save. Now you can see that takes uh, 20 something times more time. Now you may not always need to time such precise things, but one of the interesting things about using these ticks is that they can give you more accurate time over long periods of time, such as running a thing for days. This tends to stay a little more accurate than some of the other methods. And so that is how you can use ticks to time things in CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.